My dear brothers and sisters, today Muslims commemorate the death of their leader, their beloved prophet, who passed away after 23 years of sacrifice and hard work and true jihad. A true jihad in which the Prophet وسلم, did not spare no moment, but he invited people to the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And during 23 years of his prophethood, the Prophet وسلم, could have set the best example for humanity. You may ask me now, what is the biggest achievement for this great man? Was it building a new country, a new society? Was it founding a new civilization? Obviously, those are all great accomplishments for the Prophet and paralleled accomplishment. However, I believe the most powerful achievement of this man was not building a country or a state or an army or a judiciary system. It was building the human being. Turning that beast that is called a human being in the Arabian Peninsula into true humble servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why when the Quran speaks about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, and it speaks about his greatest achievement, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that his biggest achievement was yuzakkihim wa yu'allimuhum al-kitaba wal hikma He came to purify you, to turn you into true human beings, not beasts killing one another, attacking one another, looting one another, rather loving one another, respecting one another. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala justifies the diversity that we Muslims enjoy, that we all come from different races, colors, that for one reason, and that is, يا أيها الناس إن خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل تعارف. So you may know one another. According to one of the scholars, he says Allah says لتعارفوا. He did not say لتعاركوا. If you change the letter فا فا to ك. Says it becomes لتعاركوا, to fight with each other. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says لتعارفوا. So you would, know, you, were, you would know one another. You would appreciate one another. You would learn from one another. Not to fight with each other. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam set the example for Muslims how to the, live their life while serving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by not only practice, practicing their rituals, salah and siyam and fasting and zakah and khums, rather also by helping other people, by benefiting other people. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam in one eloquent and a brief statement he defines Muslims.